if we look at the left hand one here now okay yeah as you swung back again said it was good top of the bat so you're making a really good lower hub you know rotating there nicely okay to the top a little bit of a sway with the top part which gets you yeah. a bit too much kind of behind the ball but as you come back here now there's not really much twist at all it's basically your arms pulling down across your torso yeah. this is, a first this is your yeah. first yeah, before yeah, yeah. one yeah okay yeah then as you come through now left arm bending head staying i mean just from a physical standpoint looking at that position there now you can see why it's potentially so your back's going to be hurting more of yeah? a case of I could have hit that 100 yards well, yeah. but it's making it easier for myself. Yeah, well, that's the thing, yeah, exactly. And what you've done is, if you look at the narrowness of your arms in that position, yeah. okay, what you've kind of established or adapted is, by obviously, if you narrow your arms, okay, and make the swing narrow and smaller, you've got to compensate for that by getting a little bit nearer the ball, haven't yes, you? Yes, Otherwise, yes. you just miss the ball or top it. Yeah. So what then you started doing was obviously getting a little bit of a drop in as you came into impact. Now, if you keep the arms extended, you do on the next one yeah. and drop into it, you're too near the ball, which is why you caught the hosel on that last one and was a little bit off the right there, okay? Yeah. So compare this movement here now. So I do look a lot more... I mean, more <laughs> from a physical position there, Yeah. I mean, that looks healthy to me, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, And repeatable yeah. over a lot of times. You could play um, some, um, multiple shots on a range yeah. on a golf course. You could go and play two or three games in a week and you wouldn't be like, oh, can't be back to it, so... Because for me, I don't want a swing to be, yeah, that's effective for you at the moment, but two or three years on the line, you keep doing that. Yeah. You've seen our chiropractor quite a lot yeah, every yeah. day. So, so that was with no ball, okay? We can see a nice good movement there now, okay? There's the impact we're looking for there My now. Again, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That, that's kind of where, oh, I mean, your head's not lifting off the ground, the club control yeah. of the mat. But and then we can twist through. Yeah, exactly, yeah, we can twist through. There's a little bit of a lean, as we said, slightly, but not yeah. too bad. Then when the ball got there, okay? That was good. And then when the ball gets there, same good setup, okay? Nice rotation there, less sway off the golf ball. As you come back to the golf ball here now, back to the golf ball there now, it does tuck a little bit, that head does sit on a bit longer. Yeah, but a little bit slow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, if you look at your hands there now, compared to there, yeah. they're a little bit further. Now, that amount of movement seems like that on the camera. In reality, it's probably about this amount, so yeah. six, seven inches, but that's a big change to make. Yeah, and again, I would be very surprised, and I, to be honest with you, I would yeah, I'd be very shocked if you suddenly made a swing now where you got into hang on, this position with the ball in the way. It just yeah. wouldn't feel natural. So at the yeah. moment, practice swings, you can do it. Do that dragging drill we said where the golf club starts. Okay, so it's set up here now. Get your golf club starting back here. Just drag it on the ground. You feel your chest, your arms, you're trying to have to move to that left side to get that feeling, okay? That'll give you a feeling of how the arms and the body have to work. It just give you that space now for your arms to kind of almost throw over that left yeah, shoulder and put less like stress on your back. Well, like you said, it, you know, I was doing practice swings where I was taking the turf. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Turf. If you do two practice swings that are really good and then one really, really bad swing, at least you're doing more good swings than bad yeah. swings. Over time, your body will start realising what the better movement's going to be and it'll be putting less stress on your back. So, that makes sense? Yeah. Good man.